Hi YouTube, welcome to another video, Bushido here and today I have an interesting talk topic to talk about and that is going to be re-rolling in Throne of Liberty. I unfortunately had to go through a few re-rolls myself and that's why I decided to make this video to talk about it, uh, the ins and outs of why I decided to make those re-rolls, what got me there and what I've learned from re-rolling. Now, if you find this video useful, it, this is going to help you whether you want to re-roll or not. Uh, make sure to hit that like button in this um, on this video. And if you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate it. I'm very close to my first 3,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I also stream on Twitch every single day. The links are below. Love to see you there. Now, let's talk about re-rolling. Re-rolling in this game is basically when you change completely the setup of your weapons. Now, if you if we you probably have done your research, if you're very new to the game, Game, you figured out that there's different combinations of your weapons you can go gs dagger gs sns gs um wand you can go crossbow sword you can go crossbow dagger you can go crossbow gs even that you can combine so many different weapons and the point is that's amazing but the problem is the downsides of re-rolling now i'm going to be talking about these things in this video i'm going to share with you my experience and why i actually do not recommend re-rolling but if you do have to re-roll make it the proper way don't really waste too many resources or think about it the quicker the decision you make the better for you because um you know you will have to revamp a lot of things around re-rolling as you can see the from the mastery level um i played with longbow staff i played with gs dagger and now i also have sword um so me a little bit of jumping around uh, and i'll walk you through in a minute why I, I made those decisions but long story short is what are the few things that you need to consider before re-rolling First of all, you will have to take care of your skills. Uh, obviously, if you don't know, you need to get your main skills that you're going to be using on a daily basis, that you're going to be using in your active build, as well as your passives. You need to try as quick as possible to get all of these to purple. Purple is where the numbers really hit in, and you will see a significant boost in damage. You'll see a significant boost in numbers, whether those are buff skills or not. You'll see a significant difference the moment you actually start hitting purple levels so getting to your skills to purple is actually not so difficult however if you need to get like more skills from different weapons to purple this is when things get a little bit more difficult the game was generous enough they gave us a few reroll scrolls um, I've used all of them unfortunately but most of you folks probably haven't even touched these so if you did get reroll scrolls it's gonna be an easy transition in terms of you switching the, the build and the skills over to a new weapon now if you're somebody like me that had to do this three or four times well you're gonna run out of reroll scrolls i mean tr the transfer between skills the experience between skills and stuff like that right now i don't have any more but i managed to still get even like the sns uh, skills most of them to purple in just a few clicks now i'm gonna give you a, a pro tip over here that if you don't have many skill books uh, there is a way that you can you know um get a bunch of skill books and i'm gonna show you in the footage right now but basically said if you go to the shop if you go to ornate coins the game this is the currency that amazon is going to give you from you know their server issues or longer maintenance and just to you know thank you for waiting and for your patience they gave us so far for the past one week probably about three thousand of these i was even able to buy this morph and buy out all the skill books over here what you need to do is you need to buy the purple skill books and that's just a pro tip if you're lacking skill books buy the purple ones those are limited obviously on how many you can buy there is one for passive and for active skills buy them and when you go in your inventory when you click for example on this purple one you can click on dissolve this is now a precious skill growth book this is not the one we need but if you click on the purple one for active skill books and click on dissolve you'll see how many blue ones you're actually gonna get and this is definitely gonna get you up as much as possible you know it's gonna help you out to get to those purple skills very quickly if you're lacking skill books the other way to get skill books obviously is by just grinding uh, open world dungeons i made a video you can watch the previous video on the daily activities that you can do but based long story short if you just run um shadow crypt for the free to play players might be not unlocked yet but just run the open world dungeons those drop 
materials um, that you can later on like these you can you can craft your skill books from these and yeah this is gonna help you out get some books now let's talk about the other downside about re-rolling now obviously the re-rolling with the skills this is just a small portion of what hits you very hard when you decide to reroll and the bigger trouble is your items now the items as you probably ha you have figured out already those are not very easy obtainable it will take some time for you to grind for those items spe especially epic gear the blue ones is more manageable to get but the purple ones it's a hustle in the beginning for all of us so pay attention and do some planning before you decide to reroll while obviously i didn't do any planning i was just until yesterday i was gs that and I was looking for DPS items, something that is going to give me some evasion for PvP or some hit or something more just boosting my damage. Before that, while I was leveling, I wanted to focus on items that are more mana regen and stuff like that, right? You know, you know, your priorities do switch and change over time. However, when you think about now switching to a different class, consider what is the sacrifice that you need to make in terms of items? What are the items that you need to switch out and change out? Uh, also, you will have to let's say if you for now have been grinding that's a best dungeon for a bow all of the sudden you decide that you're gonna go for daggers well that means that you're gonna start grinding a completely different dungeon right now and you will go for cave of destruction for these daggers for example for the wand doesn't really matter which weapon we're talking about right now but the point is it, it's going to revamp your day-to-day -day routine and it's going to switch your focus, right? It's going to switch the focus on your war bosses, which ones you want to do. The most amount of decision-making and planning you need to put behind your weapon, uh, not so much behind your weapons, but behind your items, because those will have the biggest impact on your build. It's not, it, it is, in fact, you trust me, it is way easier to replace two weapons and get two weapons somehow it is way easier than replace all these so when you think about switching a class think about also the items what it will cost you to get the new items and stuff like this for me i'm leaning towards a tank right now because we want a tank for um you know a frontliner um, i'm gonna be a shot caller most likely for our guild which is a pvp focus guild and i want to be in the front line to have a good observation what's going on this was the reason why i switched from gs dagger to gs sns I will st I still have my dagger I didn't transfer the skills from dagger and stuff like this so if I just want to enjoy a little bit of more DPS approach or something like this or just for arenas I still can switch back to my dagger eventually I'll replace this with a purple one point is focus on one build get it done focus and build around it and then you could potentially in the future introduce a third weapon that you can rotate in and out but you need to focus on only one build as you've seen we're talking about skills we're talking about items we're talking about you know the overall focus in the game so there's many factors that come along with you deciding to so if we put aside all the progress um things that are gonna hold you back a little bit from re-rolling like um, you know you're gonna lose a little bit skill box or items and you know revamping your entire routine and stuff like this i mean if we put those things aside let's not forget that this is a game and that we are supposed to have fun and based on that, if if changing a class, changing your play style, changing your approach to the game, if that's going to bring more fun to the table for you, well, absolutely do it. Don't even hesitate. If you want to stay a tank, um, stay a tank. If you want to be a healer, become a healer. Just have fun, ladies and gentlemen. That's the most important thing about playing video games. I believe that some people just forget about this um in our day-to-day -day and they get too obsessed with progression too obsessed with the grind uh too obsessed with the pvp numbers with your ranks and stuff like that forget about those things for a second guys just make sure you are having fun if playing a dps assassin type of class is fun for you well go for it if you want to just go and and be super useful and your guild lacks a healer and you want to be useful to your guild and this is going to make you happy well Become a healer. That's it. Just have fun, ladies and gentlemen. Make the most ma make the decision based on the level of happiness that this is gonna bring towards you. With that being said, I hope this video helped you up a little bit, make the, the, the right decisions. Even if you don't 
you can always go back it's a game god damn it have fun with it and i'm just gonna wrap up with whatever your decision is i really hope you get the best drops and best loot in the game and you have a good time thanks everybody for watching if you did appreciate this video i would appreciate it if, if you like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace out